Hello and welcome back to my bull tutorial series. This is episode two where I'm going to go over all the triggers that you need to hit while you're out of bounds in the Banshee. So I have Sapien open. I removed all the ones you don't care about. These are the required triggers that you must hit. So a few caveats, you must hit them in order. You can't hit them out of order. So the order I show them to you is the order you need to hit them. Unless otherwise specified, these triggers check every second. That means basically it's on a cycle and you have to make that cycle, you can fly through these in your Banshee and completely miss the cycle. So unless I specify otherwise, it checks every second. And you don't know if you hit these uh, in game, except for a few which give you a certain marker. I will point those out, but for the most part, most of the triggers you fly through, you have no idea if you actually hit them. Uh, pay attention to my next tutorial where I go over the tools that will help you visualize it. You can't use them during runs, but for practicing, it's very useful. So those are all the caveats. Without further ado, I'll, I'll show you every trigger in order um, that you can visualize and use for your runs. So the very first one is this one. Uh, this one gives you the head through that door dialogue. Here's the next one. It's a very short and stubby one. So it can be a little tricky to hit in your Banshee. So just note that it's not very tall. In fact, it's probably one of the shorter ones. Here's the next one you need to hit. Uh, this one will, if you hit this one, all the ones before it, it will stop the music that's playing. So that's one marker. Here's the next one. Here is the next one you need to hit. Pretty tall, covers the whole uh, room here. And all the way over here is the next one you gotta hit. A little shorter, extends about halfway up this hallway. Whoops. Here's the next one you need to hit. So, I was in here, came out here. It's the next one you gotta hit. And the next one. And the next one. There's three on this bridge. You come in here. This is the very next one. This one's pretty big, extends throughout this whole room. It's not very tall though. And the next one's on the other side over here. This one is tall, it's quite large. And the next one's over here. This one's a little tricky, it's pretty short, it's pretty narrow. It covers this one hallway, so keep that in mind. And the next one be on the other side over here. Next one is in this hallway right here. This one's very tall. A bit easier to hit. Here's the next one. Here's the next one. This one's very big. You can kind of just fly right through it. Don't really need to sit in it. Same for this one. This one's very short, but it's very long. So you can just fly through this one too. Don't need to worry about the second cycle. Here's the next one. 
Uh, this one uh, is what causes the explosion right up here that you'll see in new graphics. So if you hit every trigger in order uh, up to this point, once you hit this trigger, you'll see the explosion. If you don't see the explosion, you missed one, you got to fly back and try again. And you never know which one you missed unless you have like the marker for the music and all that that I mentioned earlier. So this is uh, the next marker that you'll get that you've been hitting bull properly. And the next one is over here. This is the tunnel trigger. Uh, one thing I notice is people fly very high up here by the button. You don't need to do that. You can fly a bit lower. This one extends pretty far down as well. So just like where the elevator would be and yeah. The next one can be a little tricky to hit it's down here at the very bottom of the elevator. Uh, this one's not only short, it's pretty narrow-ish. Well, not really narrow, but it just doesn't really extend out very far. So this one, be careful when you're hitting it. Got to be a little low. Next one is in this hallway right here. A little bit shorter, but use this arrow as a marker. And the next one. All the way over here. It's this little uh, tunnel one here. Uh, this one does not check every second. I believe it checks every 10 or 15 ticks. So you can just fly through this one. Um, it checks so quickly uh, that you won't miss it. You don't need to sit in this one. Just fly straight through it. The next one you need to hit whoops, is this one. Uh, this one's very, very tall. Um, but you just want to make sure you hit this canyon bend when you're hitting it. Right here, it says you're flying. Make sure you fly through that. Uh, this next one is quite literally impossible to miss. This is the next required trigger. Uh, it's freaking huge. You won't miss this. Don't worry about it. You hit that one, you're probably going to immediately hit this one. Um, the only thing of note is don't, like, fly super high. You can see there is... Um, where is it? I lost it. There it is. Um... <laughs> This one's weird. You, you won't miss it. Don't worry about it. Just don't fly like super high. Here's the extent of it. Just as you're flying up, you hit this one, you'll hit this one. So don't worry too much about that one. The next one you need to hit is right in here. It's not this one. It's this one. That one out there we'll hit later. And this one also checks every 10 or 15 ticks, I believe. So this one you can just fly directly through. You don't need to sit in it. And that's the next one. It's a little short. Keep that in mind. Yeah, a little short. And then the next one. Guy went to the wrong BSP. Give me one second. Ah, it's that one. Whoops. There we go. Next one you need to hit is right here. And the next one is right here. So what most people do is they'll just fly directly into the pulse generator. That'll hit both this required one and this required one. Fly back out. Show you the next one. Next one's right here. Um, this is the one you hit on your way out of the pulse generator. Then the next one is the tunnel trigger. That's this one right here. See, it extends out pretty far. So I'm going to hit it like this. And then the next one you need to hit is all the way this way. BSP. Okay. This is the next one you got to hit. You can see it uh, extends up pretty high, but, you know, when you're hitting this one, if you're doing broken door skip, you want to hit it like this. But that is the next one. The next two you need to hit are right over here. 
A good marker is, see these like little things grabbing out right here. I like to use these right here. It's the marker for this one. And then similarly over here, same thing for this one. So these are the next two you gotta hit. A lot of people like to hit this one, go hit the button, come back and then hit this one on legendary. And the next one is all the way over here, past all these doors. This one. At this point, you're in bounds, but this causes the uh, the black bars to appear. This is the final run trigger. So that's it. Uh, the very next one isn't a trigger, but you need to kill five flood in this area. After you kill five flood, you'll see an army of flood spawn in this tunnel. Um, but before you continue, you must kill five flood here. So that's the five flood trigger. And then the next actual trigger you need to hit is right over here. This trigger will spawn in a bunch of covenant and flood. So if you hit this trigger and you don't see the flood and covenant spawn in over there, it's because you didn't kill five flood. So this is the next one. Pretty short, but, uh, just gotta fly a little low to hit it. And then the last one you need to hit before going to the pulse generator is this one right here. Once you hit this one, you can just fly immediately back to the final post pulse generator, which is right here. This one, right? Yeah, there we go. And that's the final trigger that you need to hit, the one right here for the pulse generator. So, um, those are all the triggers that you need to hit in order. In my next video, I'm going to actually fly through and show you how to hit all of them and the order of the BSP loads and everything. Use this video as a reference. Um, you'll see, you can see all the triggers in reference, you know, in, not in reference, in uh, relation to the geometry and everything like that. Um, and yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you would like a copy of the scenario file, if you know Sapien and would like a copy of the scenario file, let me know. I can give it to you. I'll keep it saved off somewhere. Um, but if you don't know Sapien, that's fine. Just use this video as a reference. Uh, I showed you a few different angles of a few of them. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out for the next one.